in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. Go ahead and turn over there. Because this, this is a... Revel, 1 Thessalonians 4, we don't have time to go there. That's the most famous rapture passage that there is. That is, everybody agrees that that's the rapture. As soon as 1 Thessalonians 4 is done, it goes right into 1 Thessalonians 5. And it's still, I believe, he's in the same, you talking about the same thing. He's just told them about this wonderful event where they're going to meet their loved ones that they lost. People, they try to use the argument too. Well, you know, the rapture, it's about comfort, not about scaring people. If you're telling people about tribulation, how are you supposed to comfort them with that? The Bible says, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. But if you read all of 1 Thessalonians 4, he's not comforting them that they're not going to go through tribulation. He's comforting them that they're going to see their loved ones again. You know, I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. So very clearly, it's not, you know, the comfort is not that we're not going to go through tribulation. It's that if we're in tribulation and you see your loved one die, don't worry, you're going to see him again. You're going to see him at the rapture. In 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 1, But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I ride unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief of the night. What comes as a thief of the night? The day of the Lord. Now, I agree that's the rapture, but what people will do when you start showing them the sun will be dark and the moon turn to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come, well, the day of the Lord is not the rapture. But wait a minute, I thought the rapture is going to come as a thief in the night. Well, it is. Well, the Bible says the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. Okay? The truth, and the day of the Lord doesn't come until after the sun's dark and the moon turn to blood. So, horrible argument there, but once again, it, it is the rapture. Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But ye brethren, who's he talking to here? Brethren, save people. Ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch. And be sober, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. All right, notice, listen, the thought of tribulation, it does not bother me. I'm gonna, I, I'm, it doesn't bother me. You think, you're crazy, that's nuts. But if you think I'm crazy because the thought of tribulation doesn't bother, doesn't bother me, you're basically saying my wife's nuts. Well, what do you, what do you talk about? You know, every time my wife gets pregnant, she looks forward to having that baby. Now, why would you look forward to having a baby? Okay. Okay. We got Miss Martha. She's expecting. Why would she look forward to having it? Do you realize how much pain she's going to go through? I'm not trying to scare you anything right now. You've been through it before, though. You know, it's painful. It is an agonizing experience. I've never, you know, I've never, thankfully, I'll never have to face that. But my wife's done it several times, and you know, she'll be like, oh, I just can't wait till I have this baby. And sometimes I'm just like, man, if it was me, I'd be praying for the rapture. <laughs> so I wouldn't have to deal with the tribulation. So I wouldn't have to deal with the pain. But why does a woman look forward to having a baby when they know it's going to cause all that terrible pain? Well, because they're not thinking about the delivery or the, the pain. They're thinking about what's going to come from that. And while the tribulation is not going to be a pleasant time. I just can't help but not care because I know what's coming after that. When I read about the rapture and when I think about what it's going to be like when that takes place, I'm sorry, I'm looking forward to it. So you're crazy. Well, then so are all these women that are looking forward to having their babies. They're crazy too. They definitely go through some tribulation, don't, don't they, during that time. But you know what? It's worth it. Why? Because what do you get out? You get that baby out of it, and it's going to be worth it when we go through tribulation. Why? Because we're going to get to see Christ. We're going to be rewarded when we're in heaven. We're going to enjoy Him. We're going to enjoy those rewards for all eternity. So you know what? I don't care. I'm not worried about that. And that's why the Bible says, for that helmet, the hope of salvation, we, what, that, that hel we put that helmet on. You know what it does? It kind of protects our head. I'm not worried about tribulation. I'm not worried about what the Antichrist can do. I have the hope of salvation. I know that Jesus Christ at some point during that time is going to come and He's taken me out of this place. And I have that hope and you better believe that's going to be what gets me through that time. 
Whether I get, whether I get thrown in prison, whether I get my head cut off, whatever happens, I don't care. I know I'm going to receive salvation. I know that when Jesus Christ returns, I'm going to be caught up. If I'm alive, I'm going to be caught up. If I'm dead, I'm going to rise from the dead. And I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If that day comes where they cut my head off, I already know what my last words are going to be. And it's going to be, I'll see you all in a little bit. Because I'm coming back. <laughs> and, I, and I do. I believe that with all my heart. They can kill me, but they can't keep me dead. And I'm, I'm coming back. Why? For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that so whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with Him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves and edify one another, even as also ye do. 